Now that we've created our swatch variety, we need to talk about what we can do with that. Um, obviously, you can use your Creative Cloud Library to store these, um, move those into the Cloud lab Library, allowing you to access that in different locations. However, there might be occasions when you need to share some colors you've created um, with different people across different programs, and that's where exporting your swatches come in, comes in. To do that, use your flyout menu in your swatches panel, and you're going to save swatches. So we're going to call these our color example swatches, and we're going to hit OK. Now, just to show you what those come up as, we're actually going to reload those same swatches. So again to the flyout, load swatches, and here is our ASE file, color example swatches, and we're going to click open, and you can see it imported that color theme, because that's the one I had selected. So if I wanted sunset colors, I would again save those swatches out. It saves out whichever theme you have selected. So that would be how you would also open swatches, say, that you received from someone else. Let's take this over to some other programs and see how we would import them. I've hopped really quickly over to Photoshop, and we're going to take a look at how we import swatches here. Notice I have a swatches panel. Use my flyout menu. I'm going to switch these to a small thumbnail. Um, so you can see that. And I'm now going to go to load swatches. There's our color swatches. Hit open. And these are the last swatches that came in. If I wanted to do my list, it would be these at the bottom that they've came in as. Notice that those did not come in as a folder, so you do need to kind of keep an eye on that. I can now use these swatches um, for anything I'd want to do with this photo. So for example, if I wanted to, uh, say, use those colors to color tint a photo, just tint click my color swatch, let's tint it with the yellow, and hit OK. And so I can use my photo swatches, or my swatches inside Photoshop, and work with those there, and those are exact color matches. Same thing in Illustrator. So say I was working on a logo that related to this project, and I wanted to bring in swatches, for those. Same thing, find my swatches panel, right click. With this, I open a swatch library. So, open a swatch library, we're going to go to other library, find our folder that we've been working in, there's our color swatches, hit open, and it comes up as its own panel. So then I can simply use that to select my shape, change my fill, select my type, change it, and use those exact same colors across the Adobe Suites. I could also use that ASC file that we've been opening and email it to someone else. Conversely, if I was working with a client and they wanted to save out some colors, I could have them save those colors directly to me and import those right in. So that is how you export and import swatches across the Adobe Suite.